All right, got up this morning, figured I'd get out here and oh, plant a food plot, do a little YouTube on that since I've been slacking on it pretty bad. But anyway, oh, I got this old Kubota running this morning. Let me tell you something. If I can keep the front end under it, oh, we're going to try to get this done. If I had to just come out here and do this, it probably wouldn't take but a couple hours. But the way I'm going to do it, it's probably going to take me a couple of days. Because so, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get in here this morning and I'm going to mow it, bush hog it, whatever you want to call it. We call it bush hogging it down here in the south, but uh, I know that's the name brand of a mower, but we just call it that anyway. But anyway, I'm gonna bush hog the whole thing, and then I'm gonna come back in uh, in a couple of days, you know, let this fodder dry, and I'm just gonna come back in with a set of discs and just run around the outside edge and then burn this whole thing off. And then that way I can put that potash back in the soil, you know, help fertilize that uh, whatever I'm gonna plant. Southern seed and feeds uh, gonna help us out with some seed this year on the food plots, and. Uh, they're based out of Mississippi, so they're gonna they're gonna be you know they're gonna work out good with our warm climate down here where we're at in the south. And uh, I mean, I'm sure they make some stuff that grow up north too. But uh, anyway, it's right here at the first of October, and uh, it's cool this morning. And y'all, I am fired up. I've been in Ohio. It's been cool up there. It's got, got me in the mood, you know. And I come home, and it's cool here, and I'm just. Ooh. I'm excited about it, ready. But you see all the pine timber, all this is planted timber right here, and this is what I use to, uh, you know, I cut this with a sawmill and build all those houses and stuff with. This is what I use right here, it's all planted. But anyway, you can see I've got plenty of plenty of spots to make sets for bow stands and stuff like that all along the sides, being about 250 yards long, maybe 60, 70 yards wide on this food plot. But, uh, or you can hunt, you know, I can set up on one end or the other and uh, and rifle hunt it. So, uh, anyway, if we can keep the front end under this Kubota right now and get this thing uh, mowed, bush hog, and uh, that'll be the start to it anyway. Y'all y'all hang in there. It might get a little bit more exciting if the front end falls out from under this track. That one more job. Uh, it was touch and go there for a minute though. I didn't know if he's doing a video on how to plant a food plot or how to put the front end back up under a wore out uh, Kubota tractor. But I tell you what, them things is tough. It's been a good one right there. Everybody asked me, so man, won't you just get a new tractor? I, said, I got three or four of these old ones like this right here and I like tinkering with them, I don't know. Maybe eventually one day I'll get me a new tractor. I just, I dread to make that payment, you know? I just keep patching these things up, putting them back together, and keep running them probably for a pretty good while. But anyway, turned out really good. Uh, oh yeah, and I just put new uh, stump jumper and blades on that, that little six foot bush hog, and let me tell you, it cuts so good. Cuts like a dream now. 250 yards long, about 60, 70 yards wide, and y'all see it. Smooth as silk, baby. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come in in a couple of days, let this fodder dry out real good. We'll come back around it with a disc, that way the fire won't get out, you know what I'm saying? And I'm going to try to burn it. If I got enough out there to burn, I'm going to try to burn it. And all that's going to do is put potash back in the soil and help uh, help on the fertilizer bill. You know, because right here in the south, we got such sandy soil, you have to you have to run a lot of uh, a lot of fertilizer. You know, because it the brain just leaches it, you know, just it just pushes it straight through this sand. There's nothing to hold it. So, uh whatever you know anyway we can save some money on that right there which burning it will oh that's what i'm gonna do anyway then we should uh, kind of come back in here and disc the whole thing after it's burnt oh scatter the seed drag it you know scatter the seed and fertilizer drag it and and hope for a rain because it's dry this time of the year down here anyway next couple of days i should get something done y'all bear with me keep your fingers crossed this old thing right here will hang together though all right got out here yesterday afternoon i had had uh mowed this stuff down bush hog this stuff down the uh, day before yesterday but i got out here yesterday afternoon and i run the disc around it and i noticed it was a little cloudy and the humidity had picked up a little bit you know and because uh, we got a hurricane another hurricane coming in 
and sure enough I tried to burn this stuff and it just wouldn't have it I mean it wouldn't it will not burn so uh, what I'm gonna do is just take this and just turn this all this grass under and uh, hopefully I can get my seed in in the next couple of days and uh, get them in the ground get the fertilizer in the ground get them covered up and uh, before this hurricane gets here to be perfect just to uh, you know to get these things germinated because I am running a little bit late this year so uh, anyway maybe we can make this happen what I'm gonna do now is put y'all in fast motion and I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna turn all this stuff up on you know under All right, here we go. I limped that thing through another one. Let me tell you, that little Kubota is struggling. The, the, the uh, slick end's slipping and the rough end's dragging on that little fella right now. The front end's about to come out from under it. She's running hot. I guess that's gonna be my next uh, YouTube post is uh, getting this thing back to working condition anyway. But she helped through another one. I, what I'm doing is I'm doing like two or three, doing two or three food plots at the time. So. Uh, She's catching it pretty bad right now. I just got a, I don't know if the, the water pump, thermostat, radiator needs rodding out. I don't know what it is exactly, but uh, she's having a hard time staying cool down. But I'm crowding it pretty heavy too. Uh, old tractor, of course. But anyway, uh, didn't get to burn this off like we was talking about a while ago, you know, because of the humidity hurricane coming in. So next best thing, turn it under and uh, it'll still, you know, it'll it'll serve its purpose. It'll be a little bit of fertilizer for them seed we're gonna plant and hopefully bring in something big, I'm hoping. Uh, may build a shooting house on this end and possibly one on that end for different wind directions. And like I said, I can hang sets along the side for with bow or whatever, uh, you know, to catch them coming in the middle or whatever. But uh, you could set up on either end with a rifle. May, like I said, may do the shooting houses. But anyway, oh, uh, Maybe I can get the seed in the next couple of days and we can get all this in before uh, before this hurricane comes and it'll be a perfect time to get those seed wet and germinated and, you know, and, and coming up out of the ground. Anyway, uh, we'll get back and uh, put some seed in the ground, some fertilizer, and put this and finish this video up. All right, here we go. Just got back from the uh, Rusty's Feed and Seed and picked up some... Uh, Picked up some seed from Southern Seed and Feed. They've been helping us out this year with plot seed and feed for the deer and everything. They've got an awesome selection of deer feed and seed, you know, for your plots, different mixtures and all that stuff right there. Awesome people. But uh, anyway, uh, using the Southern Southern Buck, Super Buck right here on, on this plot. Got three bags, uh, three bags of seed and six bags of fertilizer, triple 13 of uh, my cyclone spreader that goes behind a tractor my pto's busted so uh instead of uh instead of getting one i just bought me one of these cheap it's gonna the fertilizer's gonna eat it up anyway you know how that stuff is that ammonium nitrate's really rough on uh, anything metal so it's probably cheaper in the long run that i don't use the cyclone spreader you know keep from rusting the bottom out of it but anyway we're fixing to get started on it right now and um uh, i've got the tractor right there and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna broadcast the uh the fertilizer with that spreader and i've got a little uh, spreader that goes behind the truck electric that i'm going to put the seed out with and sort of speed things up a little bit oh uh, you could just spread the fertilizer in the seed and then drag it with a tree or something like that you know just cut one of those bushy trees you could use that behind a four wheel or something like that i want to disc it in very lightly i'm not going to uh, drop the disc completely down because it will suffocate the uh, seed you know you can plant them so deep especially in this sandy soil it's so soft it'll just hub those discs up and uh you know it'll be so deep that it, it'll be hard for it to come up but anyway you do want to cover uh fertilizer if you're not fixing to get a rain in the next 24 hours because it will uh it will evaporate you know it'll those those dew will hit it in the during the night and then it'll uh, evaporate in the morning and you'll lose all of your ammonium nitrate or you'll lose most of it so if you bury it oh you're gonna have a better chance of uh of keeping it in the ground and seed you know bury those very lightly like i was talking about and that'll keep uh that'll keep the turkeys and all from from getting it and uh, it'll help on germination too 
So, but lightly, lightly on that disc right there, because you can, like I said, you can you can uh, bury them too deep. Anyway, we're gonna get this thing done this morning and uh, get this video finished, so I can start on that right there. Oh, I'm gonna build a shooting house on this end of the food plot. We'll get started on that as soon as I get done planting the food plot, and then we'll go through all of that. Anyway, it's gonna be a pretty plot right here. Got a couple more back behind the house I'm gonna do, and uh, we should finish this up. Anyway. Y'all hang in there. We're getting there. finished up got it mowed this planted and then lightly disc again when i say lightly i mean just barely let them disc drag because if you uh, if you put that seed you know if you hub that disc up in there and you put that seed six eight inches in the ground people it ain't gonna come up oh uh, it's just not built for that especially your your uh, smaller seeds like radish and kale and turnips and rape and chicory and clover and all that stuff right there they require like a quarter inch oh uh, a quarter inch depth, you know, to a half inch, something like that. Anything over that, and they, they, they'll germinate, but they can't, you know, they can't pop out the ground. It's too deep. Oh, a drag works good, chain link. You can do all of this with a four-wheeler. You don't have to have tractors and, you know, all this crap I've got, uh, which ain't very much. Everything I got's about wore out. I hope y'all saw the front end on that old tractor, and she held together for one more anyway. But uh, right now I'm fixing to get started. Uh, I'm going to get back to the house, get the truck, trailer and all that and i'm gonna build a shooting house right here so that'll be the next youtube oh uh, video i'm hoping uh, pretty quick oh i'm gonna have a 250 yard shot from about right here got a boss buck feeder on the other end gonna have a beautiful food plot hope y'all enjoyed the video hey appreciate y'all